Lawson's Landing is in Dillon Beach. It's just south of Bodega Bay, so it should be really cool there. I'm a little concerned though because it looks from the pictures like just one big grassy field. Plus, we're taking our new puppy Trinity. This is the first time that she's ever been camping and I'm not really sure what to expect from her either. So we made it here to Lawson's Landing and the weather is nice and cool. The sights are very unlevel, they're on grass, but we were able to level our sights, so that's awesome. I don't think they clean the sights because there was dog poop in the neighboring site, which Doug took care of. Also, there's trash in the fire pit. But it's a beautiful place and the weather feels wonderful. Doug was just saying there aren't that many places where you can take your dog, where you can camp, and then walk onto the beach. Out. <laughs> what do you think of Lawson's Landing? Fresh air, blue skies, no neighbors. It's like they're reserved every third spot. The campground is quite large. It's also a good place for dogs. It's very dog friendly. Very dog friendly. There's no extra charge for dogs. Um, there's no uh, problem with taking your dogs on the beach or around the camp. You just have to have them on a leash. So some of the sites are grassy. We have a grassy site, which is really great for our puppy Trinity. And she's really enjoying that right now. And then also there are some sites that are right on the beach. They're actually overlooking Tamales Bay, which is beautiful. You can kayak and boat in Tamales Bay. You just have to be aware that there are sharks. And we did see people clamming along the beach during low tide. We did see some fishermen which looked like they had some large halibut or something similar. Can you show how big they <laughs> No, really. Yeah. Come on. No. Was it really that big? Yeah, it was. It was. <laughs> the campground seems to be really well managed and people are quite... Courteous. Courteous. People are very courteous. Including the staff and the other campers. People played music, but not so loud. We, we did hear some generators. There are generator hours. There are lots of dogs here, but we haven't had any barking dogs. We haven't heard any dogs that are barking incessantly. You don't have to have a dog to come here. There are no hookups, but there are two dump stations. There are also intermittent water faucets so that you can fill up sounds like it doesn't work all the time. <laughs> <laughs> you need to okay, say you say it. There, there's water faucets, water spigots dispersed throughout the camping area. Okay. Water <laughs> well, you better bring water. They're intermittent. <laughs> you don't know when they're going to work. Also, there are trash dumpsters. So you don't have to pack your garbage out. Right. There's a small store and it's also a bait and tackle shop. So you can get any kind of bait, tackle that you're interested in. They also have some food items and they have beer and wine. They have ice. Ice cream. Ice cream. Not too many other desserts, but they do have ice cream bars. There are tent sites, but there are no flush toilets or showers here. 
only porta potties. If you bring an RV, you have to be self-contained because there are no toilets available at this time because of COVID-19 for RVs. Because of COVID-19, only every other site is able to be occupied. There's also a, uh, a sandy beach that's used for boat launch. And if you don't have four-wheel drive, they have a tractor that'll um, drop your boat and trailer in the water for you. Right, and so it's a great place to kayak as well, and I did see a fishing kayak out there. Well, we saw two leave and only one came back. <laughs> because of the sharks, yeah. probably. Each site has a fire ring and a table. I see that a lot of people brought their bikes, and some people brought e-bikes, and so there are a lot of roads. There aren't any trails, but there are definitely roads that you can ride your bikes because the campground is quite large. The beach is right behind us. There's a trail up here that goes to the beach, and so it's great. It's like one of the few places in Northern California that you can actually take your dog on the beach. I mean, it is nice to have this dune behind us because it does block the wind. 